We're gonna see baby sister. Say hi. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I am four months pregnant, and I'm headed to get an ultrasound with Jackson and Zachary. It's the anatomy scan, and they do all the bones and joints and make sure they have 10 fingers, 10 toes. Whew. So today I'm gonna check growth. Okay. And I'm gonna measure all her long bones too today. Okay, cool. Aww. Jackson, look, Jackson, look. Do you see? Sister. You see baby hey, sister baby. up on the TV screen. Oh my gosh, look at her already. Look. Yeah. <gasps> look at what her. What is that? Do you see baby, baby? sister? So four and a half centimeters. That's almost oh two gosh. inches, almost. Yeah. Yeah. One pound, nine ounces. Hmm. I think it's just important that our baby is healthy. <laughs> I think in like the early stages of pregnancy, it's always just a little nerve wracking. And I think for Jackson, like he's had no health issues. Yeah. Yeah. He's very blessed. And so I, I'm hoping that carries over when we have baby girl, whether she's average height or a dwarf. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how's it going? Good. Did you guys get some good pictures today? Yeah, I got some good little profile pictures of her. Good. All right, and, the, and everything looked normal on the ultrasound, but her head is larger, and most of the long bones are about two weeks behind. OK. Behind, yeah. interesting. Yep. So. Everything's kind of measuring right on track for achondroplasia, so. Okay. Yeah. Our doctor let us know that she is most likely going to be an LP. She's showing signs of achondroplasia, a form of dwarfism that is caused by a genetic mutation. We were in a bit of a shock, but we always knew there would be a 50-50 chance. It was a little early to tell for sure at 20 weeks instead of the 32 week mark to find out if she was going to be an LP or not, but it's a, it's a lot to process. Yeah. Other than that, is like everything healthy? Oh, yep, everything looks perfect. So she's healthy, she's good. You're going to be a good role model for her, right, Jay? I mean, it's, it's hard to hear that your kid is different. And like, I think just health-wise with dwarfs, you just never know. It's a little bit emotionally more heavy when you know that you're gonna have a child that potentially is gonna have more issues or maybe have a different path than 95% of the other kids in the world. 